Hey everyone, TB Shores. It is still April the 11th, 2015. I wanted to go ahead and address this right here. The second meaning of the word wafer, where it says to seal or fasten together. And I thought, how can a wafer seal or fasten together? And then immediately the Lord showed me in my mind because, see, my dad. He used to do some uh, woodworking, and so did my husband. And so this is something I became aware of through watching them do what they do. But mostly it, it was my dad. He used to build a lot of things when I was a kid. And there's these things called wafers, better known as biscuit joints. And what this is, I'm going to show you right here. Hopefully you can see this pretty clear. Um, you've got two pieces. Now this is, this is what the Lord really emphasized with this particular meaning of the wafer. We've got two pieces. And we want to join them together as one. So you take these wafers and each piece... As you can see, yeah, that's better. Oh, good. As you can see, each piece of this wood has slits in it. This one does, and this one does on these edges. And these biscuits go in these slits. Now, they have to have an adhesive on them. But once you put an adhesive on these wafers or biscuits that are used in carpentry, they are specifically used to join two pieces together to become as one, okay? And and that is the thing that the Lord emphasized with me here on this, um, this definition here, to seal or fasten together. Uh, he immediately drew my mind to what I knew, um, a wafer, how a wafer could seal and fasten together. And it's all about bringing two pieces together as one. So here we know that based on the first definition that we covered in the uh, last video, the wafer represents the unleavened bread, the body of Christ, without sin. It represents the burial of Christ. Uh, it represents here the joining together of two as one. Um, can you see how this is all coming together here? And and we saw with the communion how that um, it was all about. Let's go back to that. Joining together of minds and spirits or spirits. Um so then when the Lord took me to this and he, he drew my mind to my understanding of how wafers can fasten together, then everything just really started making so much more sense because even though I was, how would you say, uh, getting the general idea, this not meaning a pun on words, but this sealed it for me, okay? Um, he was stressing to me through this. How that, I'm sorry, I'm trying to keep that reflection out. It was very important that I understood how this wafer joins two pieces into one takes two pieces, and brings them together as one. Okay? Um, the other thing I wanted to address, I, maybe this video won't get too long, is this third meaning here. I'm going to cover this up. And here we see, um, and maybe I should have written out a little bit more, but um, it talks about an adhesive disc used as a seal, a wafer as an adhesive disc used as a seal. Now, this is something we see um, 
and like just a little circular um, sticker type thing that you can seal a letter shut with or as I mentioned I think maybe in the last video how they used to make a seal with by dropping wax on a letter and then using a um, like a signet to to leave an imprint and it was like um, a seal of authority basically and that's what the Lord's trying to get across with this right here is a seal of authority because most the biggest thing that I felt like he was drawing me to with this meaning is how um, how they used to do that. It was it was about a seal of authority, and and we can see that vaguely touched on here, where we see it as a stamp or a label of approval. And we know all these things can apply to the bride. It's just a matter of piecing them together and using them in a way that is scriptural. Um, I think that we can all see the theme behind what God is showing me here. And I'm hoping that as I progress along, that the meanings are going to get deeper and more profound until he works this into uh, what I think may be leading to um, him made revealing something really major here um i feel like our time here is is short so uh i certainly am praying that he will give me wisdom and knowledge and guide me so that i can get this to you in a prompt manner and then maybe it's just you know i even had this thought maybe this is just breadcrumbs to keep us encouraged and to not get discouraged until um, the moment that he takes the bride. But I know that when I had approached the Lord with this, well, when he gave me this, let me put it that way. When he gave me this, I had specifically prayed uh, for him to show me that, that all of us that were understanding that Passover was the season that he would show me that that we weren't wrong. And, you know, based on what he is showing me in this wafer, and there's a lot of things. There is a whole lot of things that is coming out as I follow from, from one thing that he shows me into another thing. But right now I'm trying to stick with what I know pertains to what I ask him in um how that he showed me the vanilla wafer and what the wafer means because I had specifically asked about um, letting us know that we had not misunderstood because there were so many of us that were were seeing that he was leading us to make a connection to Passover in the Passover season and I just I find it impossible for God to have led so many of us, or, well, let me rephrase that. For so many of us to have felt led that Passover is the season for the bride and um, it not be from God. But um, the things that he's showing me clearly points us in the direction of which I had prayed about because I had specifically prayed that, you know, Lord, there's so many of us that ha have felt that you've shown us that Passover is the season. Please give me something showing that we've not misunderstood. And this is what I've got. And as you can see, it's all leading to the joining together. Okay. And the, just as we saw right here, if this thing will work. The two becoming as one. And let me show you something here. If I can get this thing to work, it's wanting to act up today. Well, yeah, there we go. Um, no, that's not the one I wanted either. Okay, we're offline now. 
anyway sorry about that but how that once you put those those two pieces together with those biscuits and the slits and you put an adhesive on it and how it brings those two pieces together as one and it strengthens them and it's all about those wafers and how they are represented with the unleavened bread um i think the wafers in this particular case the unleavened bread is represented as being without sin because it's because of the the lord being without sin that he could do what he did in the grave and and through the resurrection and it is he died in the flesh and as the bride has died to the flesh that brings her to being seen as God, in God's eyes as um, sinless and pure because we've died to the flesh of this world that is why it's so important that we let go of this world that we not be clinging to the things of this world you know the Lord just put it in my mind you know how we're reminded when um, Lot and his wife were coming out of Sodom and Gomorrah, she looked back. She looked back to the to the world that she was leaving behind, and it cost her her life. Um, God is just really emphasizing how important it is that, that we cannot be clinging to things in this world. And the result of that is going to be that we become one with him just as he sh has shown me here with this um wafer joint or this biscuit joint and it's all about the two becoming as one all right i thank you for listening and, and i hope this makes sense to you and i'll be back with something else in the next video that hopefully that i can make sense of because some of these things i'm still waiting on the lord to show me a complete understanding and every day is just a learning experience um like i said every day just learning about him and and things of him is the driving force in my heart and in my life i just i can't get enough of the lord but um i'm gonna cut this one off and i'll talk to y'all later i love you bye bye